everybody um, and welcome to my little series of videos to help you with your shoulder stability. Um, we're going to start off with doing some exercises which are great for stabilizing the shoulders and we're just going to be using a band. I'm going to be using the smaller band or lighter band should I say, so that's a yellow one. Um, depending on where you're buying your bands from, you might have different colours. But start with the lower level one, particularly if you're starting with shoulders or you're rehabbing from any sort of injury. And then you can work up through the bands as you feel more able with the exercises as you get better at the exercises. So we're gonna be doing a few exercises to help with our rotator. So our rotating out and rotating in. We're also gonna be using some exercises to strengthen the front delts um, on the front and the side of the shoulders. Uh, and these are predominantly used to stabilize the shoulder for a lot of the moves that we do on pole, whether you are a beginner, intermediate or advanced. So, Grab your band um, and let's go, let's go. So all you're gonna need to do first is, obviously I'm at the studio, but you can do these exercises at home. I do them at home quite a lot. If you've got a pole at home, it does help to stabilize um, the band. You can also use the handle of a door or anything else you've got in the house that would be pretty stable for your band. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and work our rotators. So for this one, you're gonna need to wrap your band just one rotation around. And we're gonna be working on the outside edge of the uh, rotator cuff. So with one hand, hand that I'm working on, and that's my stronger arm, I'm gonna train my, my weaker side predominantly today. So that's gonna hold one end of the band on my hip. And then the other hand is going to be holding the band, and my elbow is gonna be coming into my ribs, right? So I've got a little bit of a barbie arm. And then also gonna be aware of how I'm standing my feet underneath my hips, my tailbone is tucked, my shoulder blades are down. I'm holding into my hip with this right hand, nice and strong. And then squeezing the elbows in, drawing the shoulder blades down the way. I'm simply going to open the arm to the side and I'm going to slowly bring that band back. So I'm going to breathe in as I take it out, and I'm going to breathe out as I bring it in. And that's two so far, turn this way so you can see. Let's go. Maybe do 15. Three, and I'm going to slowly bring it back. Four. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, slowly bring it back. Five, squeeze those shoulder blades in, checking on both of them. Good. And then again, stop it around about six, nice and slowly. It's really important that we bring it slowly back. Seven, like I said, we're going up to 15, but you might find that you need to stop before then. I would advise that you do it up to 15, so you try and make sure you can do your 15. If you find that it's a bit tough, Nearly there. 
Two more, two, two or three more, lots of bands. Um, and I've got a short one to see. The last two, amazing. And how did that feel? I mean, what you're going for is you're not going for like that kind of gym kind of pain or that kind of climb the pole or new pole trick sort of pain or aerial tree. Um, but you want to be feeling something, um, maybe somewhere. For me, sometimes it's more through the core, so I'm thinking about standing strong. Um, so hopefully you're noticing that. You would, I would suggest doing two sets, but I'm going to run through all the moves with you. One set, and then when you're ready to do a second set, you can just kind of do that along with me, or, or do it on your own. Um, as you get more comfortable with two sets of 15, I suggest you do three sets of 15, depending on time-wise, but it is a really good idea to up the sets. Once you've done three sets of 15, you're comfortable with that, and lead with your, whichever arm you're really having, or your dorsal side, um, then I would go up the band to the, the, the stronger band. So here we go, we're going to go and do the, so that's your shoulders, rotation. Oh, do you do that on the other side as well? Easy to forget. Right, so right arm, you're going to be pulling across. So left hand is holding the end of the band and then rotate it in. So we've got one. I nearly forgot that one. Two. Yeah, leaving out. So yeah, I'm consciously counting that for you. Three.
position. And your brain is steady. Just stick it over thinking about these exercises. That's good. Two more. Nice. Slide your shoulder down. Press the nose hips forward. Nice and slowly. You work a few back on towards the end. I don't know about you guys. I hope you feel the benefit. So we're going to switch over. Do the same exercise on the other side. So my right arm. Shoulders set down. Lengthen in. I'm thinking of lengthening as lift that arm up. Shoulders slightly as well. That's great.
Um, so I'm going to call it 10. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're keeping count and we're not. If you are, then obviously you can turn me off if you're like, no, I've done my 15, thanks very much. Um, I just think it's better to do a few extra. I can kind of tell because I can feel it in my muscles, but I sort of know when I'm coming to the, the 15. But obviously I've been counting. That was my chair chatting. Brilliant. Right, that's our last one, right? Fabulous. So then what we do is, is we do them all again, right? So I would suggest always do two sets of 15 um, on the right band. So just like a, a general sort of awareness and feel of the shoulders. You're going to feel it more with the exercise you do at the end versus the beginning. And it doesn't matter which one you do in particular, which order. I, I would suggest doing that one um, because rotator cuffs usually tend to feel a little bit more vulnerable than the deltoids, the front of shoulders. So I would do the more vulnerable ones usually first. Um, but it's absolutely fine if you forget to do one one day and then you want to do the deltoids at the same one. That'll be fine. So hopefully um, that brings you some um, benefit from shoulders um, and you notice the difference, particularly when you're up in the air. And that's what it's all about. So excellent guys, thanks very much for watching. Well done, keep it up and I'll see you soon.